welcome to MathThrive.com. We're studying your conceptual understanding, which means teaching it to you. Procedural fluency, which means you're practicing it. And critical thinking skills, which means that you're actually able to compile what you know and know how to use it in any situation. It'll bring you not only one step closer to success, but it'll make you successful. My name is Oren, and today we are working in Integrated Math 2 Lesson 4, Applications of Volume. Let's get into this now. Alright, it says each coin in the treasure chest has a radius of 1 inch and a height of 0 .0625 inches. If there are 225 coins in a chest, what is the volume of all the coins? All right, the way that you would do this is you're going to find that um, that area of the coins uh, base, which is a circle. So coins are circles. Coins are circles. Uh-huh. And a radius of one inch, which is actually a pretty big coin. You know, like one inch is like the size of your, or at least my digit is about one inch. Okay. I'm like my index finger digit. So if you multiply that by, okay, area equals pi r squared right so this is basically one squared so basically just pi the area of this is pi and i'm multiplying that pi by 0 0.0625 inches so let's let's do that i'm going to make uh, pi 3.14 3.14 multiplied by 0 0.0625 all right i get uh okay and then i multiply that by uh 225 so there's 225 coins multiply that by 225 okay so my volume of all the coins is going to be 44 Point one, let's call it point one six. Okay, the volume is approximately forty four point one six inches or cubic inches. Okay, so that's the volume of the coins. Now it says now that each coin is worth uh, one thousand one hundred and sixty one dollars and twenty nine cents. So how much are the coins that this person Cameron and his friends found worth? If each coin is worth that, then all you got to do is multiply uh, 1,661.29 times 225. Because remember, there's 225 coins in the chest. That's not changing anything. This is application, which means that these are uh, word problems. This is you applying this to real, a real life, somewhat real life situation. I'm pretty sure no kids are going to be finding... Uh, coins where each one is 1,661, I mean, that's that's money right there, you know, like that that's hardcore cash right there. Let me go ahead and um, make that that calculation though, but this doesn't seem like this is having anything to do with volume now, this is like getting into money, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not just talking about money, like this is counting money, you know, you're just multiplying 225 by uh, this 1,661 29 cents and you get woo. so they get 373,790 dollars and 25 cents all right I wish I found a little treasure chest man all right The coins are placed in a cylindrical storage container that has a radius of two inches. So radius is two. And the height is five inches. How much empty space is in the cylinder after all 225 coins are placed in? All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna utilize the volume that I already found with the 225 coins, and then I'm going to, I'm basically gonna calculate the rate, the volume of the this cylindrical tube thing, and then kind of like subtract them. So I'll get the cylindrical tube, 
then subtract the volume of the coins that we already found in like I think problem one okay so that's how you're gonna do that one uh, let's go ahead and just calculate this volume right here this volume is a uh, well, we got to do the, the area which is a uh, uh, pi r squared so four times pi because the, the radius is two so I just do four times pi four times pi um, for pi like I said I'm just doing 3.14 not doing the full-fledged pi that's 1256, multiply that by 5, 62.8. So I'm going to take this 62.8 and subtract it from the volume that I already got. So the volume I had is 44.16, 44.16. Okay, so simple uh, subtraction there. And I get, oh, I must remember my camera. Made it tilted a little bit. 18.64. All right, so 18.64 is the free space in there. All right, now this problem says if the dimensions of the coins doubled, what would the new... Vo what would be the new volume of the coin? Would, would the coin still fit into the cylindrical container? If yes, how much empty space would the container have? If no, how much space is needed? Man, th 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 they're trying us. Alright, so what you got to do is you got to go back to number one and just double the dimensions that were given for the coin. So instead of a radius of one inch, it has now a radius of two inches. So now it's like four times pi, very similar to the uh, to, to the cylindrical tube, and then multiply that by zero point uh, zero six two five. No, even that is doubled. So even point zero six two five is going to be doubled. The height doubles as well. So let's see what that height is. Two times. Point zero six two five. Okay, so that's point one two five. Multiply that by four. Multiply that by three point one four. And then multiply all of that by two twenty five. That gives me 353.25. The volume is now 353.25. Man, that's crazy. I know you don't understand what I, I'm probably talking about, but you see how much it grew just off of it doubling? Like, it did, because it doubled not only just one little area, it doubled everything. So it doubled the height, it doubled the, the radius, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you can't really double the pie, but you can double all the other stuff, and it makes this volume so much bigger. You would think that it would just be double the volume, but it, you know, almost exponentially made it grow. So the 353.25, man, that thing's not fitting in there. It's not. No, no, it's definitely not going to fit in there. 62.8 minus... 353, was it 353, 20, 353, 25? Yep. Let's see how much is uh, needed, man. All right, so minus 62.8, 290.45. All right, so no. It'll need 290.45 uh, inches cubed of space. All right. So that's how much more is needed. That's kind of crazy. 
All right, uh, let's see how many, two more problems. What relationship do you notice when you look at the volume of the original coin versus the volume of the coin that had its dimensions double? Uh, it bigger. It real big. All right, like it's, 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 you know, not just half or, you know, double the amount of volume. It's like, okay, uh, I can't do the math in my head, like, it's just a lot more, okay? Uh, not more than 100% or, you know, like not more than 400 or whatever, but it, it is a lot more. What percent of the original volume is the volume of the bigger coin? All right, so the way that we can do this is you put your volume of your, big, your bigger coin volume on top of a fraction All right, so what just happened here is that I pressed the X button while I was recording. So let's see how that works out. I'm going to go all the way back. All right, so now it's resumed. All right, so what you're going to do here is you're going to take your 353... 25 and put it over your original volume which is 4 you 4.16 and then you go ahead and um you you do the little division of that and you'll see how much more it grew Mm-hmm. 44.16. It almost grew... Wait, what? Uh... It says 7.99. Or, if you want to round it, you can. To 8.00. If you move your decimal place over a couple times... It, it basically increased 800%, okay? So this one increased 800%. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, please, if you have any question, leave it in the comment section below. I will answer it in the comment section or in a video separate of that. If you liked anything in this video, please give me a thumbs up, man. I'm trying really hard to get this this content out i'm doing like a lot of videos at one time but you know i'm not begging for it but you know what i'm saying i i would be really appreciative uh also uh subscribe for notification to more videos um and go to maththrive.com maththrive.com to request tutoring if you need tutoring thank you so much for your time like i said my name is Oren, and have a great rest of the day guys